Brilliant, it's a uh, game change again. So, uh, what we're going to do next is have a little look at your video, brother. So, the first thing I'm going to uh, check, uh, it's a video of your base, I should say. First thing I'm going to check there is your attack, 8% fantastic uh, defense, 22. I'm going to be honest, it's it, it, it's okay, but it's not it's not high. Um, you know, in, in T2, the best of us are probably going to pull out about 60%. Um, the, the, the kind of more standard is where you're at now so all that tells us mate is um, you you possibly haven't been shown how, how to set up a good defence and that's where I'm going to help you mate that's what I do for the team so first thing first let's have a look see what you've got okay so first observation is uh, your base setup now what I'd be looking to do here um, Scorpio is I would be looking to get all these walls touching now the reason for that is if you can create like you have here a barrier where there's no gap there no gap there and literally every single wall touches and build like a perimeter for yourself then you can put your war factory and your uh, uh, barracks inside of those walls now you may think the walls are to try and keep people out personally they're to try and keep my stuff in because what happens is when basically um, my uh, deployment kicks in so be, you know imagine that the, the guy over here is starting to attack us uh, from here for example then when my barracks and when my um, um the uh, war factory start to deploy uh, the tanks and the soldiers, what will happen with yours, your guys will just leave the factories and leave the barracks and start wandering over here and he'll be sat over here just picking them all off for fun. Um, so what you've got to do is you've got to get your, bar uh, your barriers touching so that none of your men uh, and vehicles can escape. And what happens is the pool inside an area, which then means that he's got to come in, attack, and then everything hits him all at once. So that's the, the, the strategy. Now, the other problem you've got as well, using machine guns, if you've watched that video I've sent first, uh, basically I would be sending my tank in from over here uh, to about sort of here. Then all three to four machine guns would aim at the tank. I'd come in from, say, this angle here, and while all your machine guns are distracted, I would just completely and utterly wipe you out. So you need some sort of uh, defence uh, that's going to be a little bit stronger. Now, I'm just going to show you what I've got set up. I mean, obviously, I'm a higher level, so I've got more, more um, things in my toolbox than you will have at this stage, but obviously this is where we're going to help you grow. Uh, just keep an eye on what you do upgrade, and, and I'll run it past us, um, just so I can make sure you don't upgrade something accidentally which could have a detriment uh, going forward. So, if you look at my base, not saying what I've done is perfect, but it's it's working quite well. Um, you may be aware the flak issue at the moment means that flaks aren't as strong as they used to be, which I think they're going to fix again. So, at the moment, I'm trying to run three flaks just to try and give myself some, some defence. But the first thing first, I haven't upgraded some of my barriers because that saves on XP. Uh, even if I use this barrier here, it's not exactly going to stop anybody, is it? You know what I mean? It just slows them down a fraction. So I might as well save XP and just use some crappy walls for now. Because all the walls are, for me, is to try to keep my stuff in. Now, when my uh, war factory uh, deploys and my barracks deploy, the guys will pull inside these walls. They can't actually physically get out, which means if you're over here, you can't pick them off. You have to come in close. And uh, obviously, I'm at the point now where I can use mortar men. And I've even got snipers at the set, but we'll get on to that. But mortar men, basically, they will ruin absolute death on your opponent, uh, especially if it's close up. So um, uh, there's, there's videos I've got on YouTube that will show you how that works. But yeah, try and get your your, uh, your walls all touching. The next thing is try and get your, everything spread out evenly. Uh, on your base, I could probably spawn about here, which means I'm straight in, I'm straight at you. Whereas on my base, you probably couldn't spawn unless you were over here somewhere. Which by the time you then drive in, you've probably been hit two or three times by um, uh, howitzers. Uh, and by then my tranks will have got a chance to come out and me, me machine gunners and things like that have got a chance to come out so uh, you know by the time you hit, get to my base my base is active where I could probably hit your base before you know the countdown which is why you only want one tank um, and then the next wave one tank and the next wave one tank because I think if you've got two tanks in your first wave it's going to be 28 seconds before they deploy and chances are they ain't going to get deployed you know you'll have got them taken out by then so you, you want them uh, um, you want to try and get people out as soon as you possibly can 
you won't have helicopters yet but when you do obviously make sure you get some of them in, in the base uh, but the other thing I'm trying to look at here if you start attacking this howitzer here then this howitzer here is going to give you a world of pain this howitzer here is probably going to give you a world of pain uh, this one's protecting that one and that one and that one's protecting that one and that one so basically everything's still trying to cover everything now at the moment i have got one extra flak than i normally would have because there's there's a problem with flax um so normally i'd probably have an extra machine gun in there as well so i usually run on two two flax uh, at maximum absolute maximum level level three if you notice though my base for my turrets aren't uh, anything above three or four and again that saves xp um, because i've got to keep an eye make sure i don't go past 27 because otherwise I'm, I'm no longer in this level so i'm trying to maximize everything i'm trying to get the most out of my xp which is obviously how i'll, how I'll guide you but that's the essence of uh, of the base and uh, i'll send you some links to show you how uh, potentially the, the base works from a defense point of view all right cheers bro